All right, so check it out. It's no secret. I want to move to Florida. I know you guys want me to move to Florida. And with it being 2023, I decided it's time to turn it up a notch here on the YouTube channel. So with that being said, we have a new partner, permanent partner, monthly partner, parts partner, and that's going to be Extreme Online Store. And the great thing about Extreme Online Store is you guys watching right now can buy stuff from them that is actually worth it. So if you own a Dodge Charger or a Challenger, they have parts. If you own a C7 Corvette or a Camaro, which I don't know why you would, they still have parts. And most importantly for our boys out there with the Mustangs, the ones that matter, they got parts. But I do want to go ahead and thank our channel partner, Extreme Online Store, for partnering with us. This is a huge opportunity. And if you guys want to check out the website, which I highly recommend, help your boy out, help your car out, you can use promo code DBP Squad for 5% off your orders. That Mach 1 bumper that's currently from Hades, guess where it's from? Lock it in. Head to the link in the description. Go run them up. Go see what they got for your car. Again, use promo code DBP Squad for 5% off all orders, as many orders as you'd like, as big as orders as you'd like. And you know, it's winter time. Make your car happy. Get some new parts. Well, boys, I think it's that time, sadly. What does it say? 26 miles till E? Hmm. Ever since winter started, I already knew that I was gonna have to do this, but I have definitely been putting it off for quite some time now, and I learned my lesson the other day. It was uh, 5.30 in the morning, and Ben and I were about to make our adventure to the gym, and I drive this every day. I drive this to the gym, and the crazy thing is, the night before, I had parked my car like outside in front of my garage, because I was going to wash it, because we had a decent day. This lady's pulling right out in front of me. Word, lady, word. No, don't go back yet. Oh my God, dude. Long story short, I had set the car outside to wash it, went upstairs, did what I had to do. I don't even remember. Uh, clearly didn't remember, because the next morning for the gym, I opened the garage and the car's gone. <laughs> well, it's not in there. And I'm like, oh damn, I got robbed. I definitely doxed myself on the Dosa DBP YouTube channel and someone robbed me. Come to find out that actually wasn't the case. I just, um, you know, the methamphetamine hit a little too hard the night before and I forgot to bring the car in. But it was seven degrees outside. It was on that cold front came through, seven degrees, and I sat there trying to start this car on E85 on a bass tune. And I know I shouldn't be on a bass tune, but what are you gonna do? Uh, I, was, I was lazy back then, okay? Last year, I was lazy, I'm good now. But here I am, sitting in a freezing cold car, it's seven degrees, I'm on a base E85 tune, and this Mamma Jamma would not fire up, dude. Like, it was cranking and cranking and crank. Like, I think I cranked it, no joke, nine times until I was like, all right, I'm gonna destroy my starter. Let's not do that anymore. And that's why we're here today, because if I were anywhere, like let's say I was traveling and I parked at a hotel and left my car overnight, Jesus, almost got hit by that thing. Today's a sad day. We're getting off of E85 and it blows because I hate how the car feels in 93. And what sucks even more is I kind of want to go and play around a little bit today because we finally caught a slight break in the weather. As you can see, it's nice and sunny, but we're gonna be on 93 and it's, it's horrible. I hate it. Oh God, I cannot wait for springtime, boys. That's for damn sure. So clearly, when it comes to E85, it's not all hunky-dory, especially if you live in a state to where, you know, it's not a beautiful 50 degrees during the winter, like you Florida people. You're lucky, and I can't wait to get there. E85 is definitely boss level, especially with, um, you know, these Coyote platforms. They absolutely thrive off of it. And uh, don't quote me, but I wanna say it's about 45 to 50 wheel horsepower on E85 compared to 93 octane. So it's a significant difference and not only in power, but just feeling overall, it feels insane. And now we're going back to the Brandon gas, AKA peasant fuel. Mm -hmm. And while this loads guys, I just wanna go ahead and do a shameless plug. Uh, we did drop a new dose of a DBP YouTube channel, pretty much showcasing how the automotive industry completely changed my life. For those OG viewers, you 
don't already know how that happened. But if you don't really know my story and how I started from ground zero and built what I've built, head over to the Dose of DBP YouTube channel. You can go check it out. The video is titled Going from a Broke Fast Food Worker to Self-Employed. And it's a great video. A lot of you guys have given me awesome feedback and I thank you for that. And uh, let's see if we can go ahead and hit 3,000 subs on that channel, guys. We have awesome videos coming. So go run it up, drop a like, drop a like on this video. 1,200 likes, guys are smashing it. It's 2023, we're done with the peasant shit. Yo. Where you at, peasant? Where do you want to meet? I don't know. Do you like meat? No, not that kind of meat. Oh, by the way, guess what I'm doing right now? What? I'm putting that peasant Brandon fuel in. Bruh, cool, good. Good, good why? Because you need, you need to run 90, 93. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a lumberjack over there, mate. Yeah, you like... Damn, that just made my neck itchy. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, gas is going back up. Peasant 93, here we come. Disgusting. Let's see how this nonsense goes. Oh. So that was so unnecessary. <laughs> Why'd you have to reverse? You trying to show off, huh? So, dude. You wanna go do burnouts? Yeah, I can, I can my tires. Still have a little bit of E85 in the tank, so it's definitely splashed. still a lot of E85 in here, so it felt a little spicy, I ain't gonna lie. I am a little happy that I don't have to worry about the mornings now or like starting the car in the freezing cold and running out of E85 because the stations are very few and far between, so that's kind of a plus. <laughs> this 93 life is awesome. Hell yeah, I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. So on the topic of E85, I highly recommend doing it. If you have a Gen 1, I want to say even NA, you need a return style fuel system with that and injectors. Uh, Gen 2, I think it's just injectors. You can get away on the stock uh, fuel system, but if you go boosted, you'll definitely need a fuel system. And Gen 3, you obviously just need a tune. Um, the direct injection with these cars allow you to run E85 super easily. So you just get a tune, slap the E in, and you're ready to rock. Right then and there for just you know, however much the tune was, you gained about 45 to 50 wheel, which uh, in these cars, they love it. Especially the top end of these, like you can definitely feel how how much more refined the car feels on E compared to the 93. And I can't do a real good comparison right now because there is E85 still in the system and in the tank. So it's gonna be one of those things where over time I'll start to notice, but um, I'm sure from what I remember, the day I put this car on E85 and ripped it, it's just a night and day difference, like for sure. But, you know, winter time, not worth it. Not worth it at all. Take it easy on your starter, letting that thing crank, and uh, yeah, it just. So we got these two beauties together. Look how sick they look. I know a lot of you watching are actually huge fans of Minion 5.0, and we kind of have to put them on the spot because the people want their videos, bro. All right, I got you. It's 2023, where are they? Coming. What do you mean so, coming? Coming soon. Where's your camera? At home. Oh, well, that's doing a lot of good. Yeah, filming my nighttime activities. How many likes does this video have to get for you to promise them a video this coming Tuesday? I don't know how many. How many? How many likes you be getting? I usually set 1,200 like goal. Hmm. 
Let's do 1,500. 15? Yeah. So say it right now on camera. 1,500 likes to drop a video next week. Of you and Minion. Yeah. Right hand. This is just convenient at the moment. Yeah. Well, you guys heard it first. Minion and Brandon. Video Tuesday, if this video gets 1,500 likes right now. Go and drop a comment too right now. Which of the two are you taking? I'm taking the Gen 3, but with Brandon's color. I have to admit, the triple yellow. I'm a yellow car guy. Um, I don't know if I've ever really told y'all that. I have fallen in love with the yellow Z06, C6. Like, those are my favorite. The C5 Z06s in yellow are my favorite. Um, yeah, triple yellow is sick. But I think I do like the Gen 3 a little more, and especially with the Mach 1 bumper. It's kind of the kind of my vibe, to be honest with you. Is this your first time seeing the Mach bumper? I don't, not the first time seeing it. I think I've seen it, but I haven't really actually, I paid attention to it. Really? I like, I like it. I don't, when was the last time we filmed? The other day. Was oh, it? You were, never mind, you were driving the Corvette. Yeah, then. I was driving the vet. So this is the first time you've seen it. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. Yeah? Is it better than the GT500? I don't know about that. Whoa. Damn, it's bro. different. I almost, if they would have made that for my car, I probably would have probably got it. What, so you do like yeah. it better. Don't, stop capping, bro. I just want to be different, bro. Every, every, <laughs> I, I was the first person with the yellow to do this shit. Now everyone's doing it. Yeah, like Jake? Yeah, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot when we were filming a Dosa DVP video, I think it was in that vlog, we were talking uh, We were talking a 1v1 live stream on Call of Duty, me versus you. Are, are we logging that in or what? I think the people want to see it. You want to do it? I'll get shit on. How much are we putting on it though? I'm not putting How about on. a dinner? How about dinner? Dinner, sure. Fine. Dinner? All right. Dinner. We're going to 1v1 for dinner. I'm going to smack this kid. You're going to hear him raging, so go subscribe. As soon as we hit 3,000 subscribers on that YouTube channel, Dosa DVP, I'll set it up ASAP and we'll do it that night. These two look so sick together. They both need washes though, but that's just stating the obvious. They're always dirty. Rice, rice, baby. All right, I'm feeling Chipotle. Chick-fil-A. Dude, I can't be eating that junk. Bro, you can get your grilled nuggies. You That's, for your... Yeah, for eight dollars that is like a snack. Yeah. It's not like you had food poisoning this week. Huh? Yeah, from Chipotle. <laughs> so what? Let's go get another one. Went... Just I... risky. You gotta live life a little bit. If you if you were just like Bro, down my, bad, my you gotta get it again. It feels like it's been ripped apart <laughs> and spread. <laughs> Dude. Just get rice. That's it. Yeah, just rice? Yeah. Am I taking this? Yeah, you're taking this. Alright, what's up guys? Do you even know how to film anymore? Yeah, I don't know. I'm a goddamn professional. I can't wait for this video to get 1,500 likes to start motivating your ass yeah. to film again. It's 2023. I got to start getting on that grind again. Yeah, it's already what? The 6th or 7th? It get is. with it. It's the uh, the 6th. Y'all want me to come back? All right, I got you. I just need I need help with uh, video ideas, guys. Because filming by myself during the week or doing whatever I'm doing, it's hard to come up with ideas of stuff to film, and I've pretty much done everything with my car that I can for the time being. And I ain't got money for a boost or anything like that, so I'm just trying to show with what I got. A lot of my content is stuff with the friends or just pointless stuff, so I gotta get ideas on how to come back and do some good things. <laughs> this thing get here? What? This big ass building. That's actually a good question. Yeah. I have no idea. No.
your parking sucks. Dude, not me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Look how crooked he is. I'm about to flame you and just post it on this side. You're an ass. Yo. <laughs> what are the odds you'll tell him you got food poisoning from here last week? I'll be like, it was two days ago, and I'm back for more. <laughs> you gonna tell him or what? Yeah, no. Nah. What? Well, it wasn't this location, so maybe I'll be safe. Oh, you're straight then. You're good. Show it off. Let's see it. I already feel like I'm about to die. <laughs> <laughs> Moments before Brandon almost dies again. What'd you get? Steak this time? Yeah, I got steak only. No chicken bullshit. Because these kids don't know how to cook chicken. Rubbing their meat all over this chicken. Dude, that's just cheese and sour cream. Yeah, that's, that's what I need. Are you actually in the gym? Yeah. Not with this meal. So Brennan and I just got done crushing some Chipotle. I ran a couple errands, had to pick up some stuff. And I, you know, we're kind of homebound now. I know I sound like a broken record, but I hope you all truly do understand that winter time is just so difficult for car content. Just every aspect of it. Nobody really wants to come out in the cold. No one wants to bring their car out. Um, you can't hook up or anything and it gets dark at 5 p.m. And that's typically when everybody gets off. So it's definitely making things It's always made things super difficult, but um, you know in no way shape or form am I or plan on slowing down with this YouTube car stuff because uh, You know, I, I saw a couple people commenting just because I'm starting new businesses a new YouTube channel to post whatever I want that they think that you know I have no interest in this stuff and that's not the case um, Blucifer is gonna be running here soon uh, my wedding is gonna be in like three months. So once that's done, it'll really ease up a lot of time and stress uh, I got my business off the ground to find social if any of you guys are looking uh, For a YouTube manager somebody that can edit your videos manage your channel if you need photo and video services done uh, Merchandise fulfillment if you need uh, you know social media development all that stuff. That's kind of what we specialize in and uh, Thankfully that's been popping off. So, you know staying busy with that, which is a good thing And you know, I'm also out here just trying to live life you know, I got a personal life as well. So, uh, yeah, don't get it twisted. It's winter time, boys. It's tough. But, uh, you know, this weekend we're going to try to get some filming done as well. Knock out hopefully three videos next week. That's my goal. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and just put that little message out there. I know probably a lot of you don't give a shit, but I'm just trying to be as real as possible and as transparent as possible. But uh, with that being said, go check out Extreme Online Store. Go watch the latest DBP, Dose of DBP video, how I went from a fast food worker to self-employed. It's a great video, a lot of information. And uh, you guys have a blessed weekend, man. Get in the gym, get some good workouts in. Me and the boys going to play football and basketball tomorrow. Get our little cardio sesh, and uh, you know we're back up on here and Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So with that, y'all take care, stay blessed. We'll see you later.